Welcome to Saving and Retrieving Mat Designer Files. Here's how to save mat designer files for customer history and reminders of the unique designs you may have done. Saved mat files are very small, and you can save thousands of them in just a little space on your computer. If you've designed a mat on the new opening screen, click OK at the bottom to send the design to the edit screen. Click File along the top toolbar and select Save Mat As from the drop-down menu. The Save Mat Design dialog box pops up. You can give the mat a name and click the Save button on the right. However, it is a good habit to organize the designs you save. If there is a folder you'd like to save it in, double-click on the folder to open it, give the mat a name, and then click the Save button. An information box pops up to confirm that the mat is saved in that folder. Click OK, and you can continue your work. You will certainly want to make new folders in the mats directory to organize the files the way you want. When a mat is ready to save, click File along the toolbar at the top. Select Save Mat As from the drop-down menu. The Save Mat Design menu pops up. To make a new folder, right-click in the white area. From the menu that pops up, select New, then select Folder. A new folder enters, ready for you to rename. Once you've named it, click away from it. The name will register. Double-click on the folder to open it. Give the mat a name and click the Save button at the right. The information box pops up again, reminding you where the mat is saved. Click OK and continue your work. To retrieve a saved mat, return to the main screen of Mat Designer. Click the Find Save Designs button on the right. If you are working with an earlier version of the software, the button will say Load Saved Mat. The mat directory will open. If you've been looking for mats in some other place, the software will very likely open to another folder. To return to the main mats folder, click the default mats folder button at the bottom in the middle. Here you will see familiar territory. This is the main wizard save designs folder. Use the scroll bar to find the mat that you want, or if it's in a folder, double-click on the folder to open it. Select the mat that you want. A thumbnail of it will appear on the right. You can click the Edit button here to send the design to the Edit screen where you are able to make changes, or you can click the Cut button in order to send the design directly to the Cut screen. Whether you have saved them or not, Mat Designer saves the last 20 mats you've cut. Return to the main screen, and in the middle, there is a button named Recent Designs. Click it, and the Recent Designs tab of the mats directory will open. Once again, even though you have not saved them, you are able to filter through them and view them and use them as you would use any other saved mat. Just as before, you're able to click the Edit button to send it to the Edit screen to make changes, or click Cut and send it directly to the Cut screen. Saving and organizing mats is important for keeping customer history and for keeping unique ideas handy. You will find that it's easy to do, and the files will prove to be a great resource. If you have questions, call us at 888-855-3335 or email us at wizardu at wizardint.com.